Hey guys, welcome to Storytime with Jester. Today I'm going to be going over um, featuring basically the city of Greyhawk uh, and its environs. Um, we're going to backtrack a little bit in the timeline uh, from where I left off the last time with the second edition um, adventures and uh, accessories. Um, we have a four set here. Uh, uh, designated WGA 1 through 4. Uh, the first three are a series of, of modules uh, and then the fourth one is uh, by it, it, it's by itself but it comes after the events and almost immediately after the events of the first three in the timeline. Okay, So we have Falcon's Revenge Falcon Master and Flames of the Falcon. This is all set in and around the city of Greyhawk, and it's um, basically a cult uh, headed by this mysterious figure called the Falcon, and um, it's loosely a cult of Ayus. Um, but um, there's more things afoot, and I'm not going to give any spoilers. I'm not really going to talk about it much because I actually haven't played this series. I've thumbed through it, read a little bit about it and everything. The, the, the neat thing about um, this set here is it's got these um, cardboard, cardboard um, buildings with maps as the terrain. Um, just to give you an example here, if I can get this all over here. This is a church of St. Cuthbert. Yeah, comes apart a little bit, but I haven't glued it together. But uh, this is one of the pieces. So you get the idea. Um, take this back over. Let's see. But you've got you've got buildings um, like that, and like I said, it's got like a little map of the terrain around it and everything, and it's supposed to give you different locations within the city um, such like that um, the um, that one actually came out of the Falcon Master um, you've got uh, a little dock area in the Falcon's Revenge and then you've got a, uh, a manor in Flames of the Falcon uh, but anyway, um, so it's like I said, it's just a set of three adventures um, tied together that take you from beginning to end against this cult called or cult of Ayus led by this mysterious figure called the Falcon. Um, then after that, you've got Vecna lives. Um, this basically uh, is it takes you f across. The world of Greyhawk, um, from starting at the Grey at the city of Greyhawk, and taking you uh, all the way west, should pretty much about as far west as you can get. Um, the uh, players begin by playing the legendary Circle of Eight characters, uh, and I won't say a whole lot more about that, um, other than they're fighting the. Reincarnation, if you will, of Vecna, which was a powerful lich. Um, so, anyway, that on the timeline precedes um, a lot of um, what I my last video was. Uh, even though this these four modules were all in 1990, I believe. Yes, were, were all made in 1990. Um, 
the time period that it all took place was back before uh, Greyhawk Wars and all that started. <coughs> um, so, let's see. get these in the right order here. All right. After all of the material that I did in my last video, you have what is the third third wave. <laughs> Got my fingers not working right here. Third wave. Um, third wave not meaning third edition. Third wave just meaning the third wave of the timeline. And that all kicks off with basically uh, DM's DM's Guide and Player's Handbook, if you will. Uh, this is called the Adventure Begins. And this is the player's guide to Greyhawk. And basically, um, it, for the most part, completely centers around the city of Greyhawk and the immediate vicinity. Um, in, in the Adventure Begins gives you a history, goes back and gives you a history, of, a brief history of the uh, Greyhawk Wars, and then everything that's led up to the signing of the peace treaty. Um, and from that point on to now. Um, it does give you this little booklet here, Adventure Begins Adventure Maps, and it take, gives you basically, um, in here, it gives you the descriptions of, the, of those locations and maps of those locations. So you've got, um, for all the areas around, around uh, Greyhawk, you've got the, the town of Narwell, uh, town of Safeton, town of Elmshire, the town of Hardby, uh, the stronghold of Graysmere, the stronghold of Carecast, uh, the Elm, uh, the Elmshire and Diamond Lake mines, uh, Grosset Grottle environs. Uh, you've got the ruins of Katana, the town of Fax, the ruins of Scorain, the ruins of Canrail. The Great Barrows, the ruins of Janaquil Valley, the uh, Dagger Rock in the Bright Desert, and uh, also the ruins of Dark Bridge Temple in the Bright Desert. You've got the ruins of Ogre Meat in the Aberals. You got the ruins in the Vale of the Lamia, uh, the ruins of Zarak, and the pits of Azek Zil. Oh, and two more: the ruins in the Mist March and the Isles of Woe. So. You've got all of the maps to all of these and descriptions of those areas. And the descriptions. All right. And then it, and then it just basically the rest of the rest of the book is pretty much Kind of like the uh, Greyhawk folio and the World Greyhawk box set uh, supplement books uh, gives you information, but the, you know, like this is all focused on, like I said, the city of Greyhawk and its environs. So it gives you um, a it breaks it gives you a map actually in here of um, pretty sure. Let's see here. Yeah. Oh, it gives you the Mar uh, Castle, the put Mar Castle environs um, map there. Um, gives you different locations in the city. Basically, is what it is. It's it's just a, lo a location in uh, descriptions of the city of Greyhawk uh, in the immediate vicinity. Um, gives you calendar um, calendar events. Um, and stuff like that. Player's Guide to the World of Greyhawk, pretty much the same thing. Um, gives you the um, gives you the geographic areas. It gives you the calendar again. Uh, languages. It gives you 
different little player kits, uh, like the, um, such as the Rangers of the Gnarly Forest, Knights of the Holy Shielding, Knights of the Watch, Knights of the Order of the Heart, apprentices at the University of Magical Arts, Greyhawk Fugs, and the Dwarf Folk of the Domain. Um, gives you things about the different races in 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 and around uh, Greyhawk and, and Earth in general. And it gives you all of these symbols of the gods inside the thing there. That's just pretty cool. Um, gives you some little plot hooks, both books. Then that takes you to Return of the Eight. Uh, again, this is takes place in and around the city of Greyhawk. Um, basically, um, Ios's mother, Igwilv, has returned along with uh, Turney, the Merciless. Uh, they plan on taking over Greyhawk and then eventually the world. Um, and it's up to the PCs to stop it. Um, that's pretty much the premise of the entire module. Um, you the the return of the eight portion of it is uh, you know you at the signing uh, several of the members of the circle of eight was slain by Rary and then Rary fled to the bright desert so you're missing three members of the circle of the eight and they are now replacing those members with three new members so you're introduced to those member those three new characters um, and uh, but pretty much it's just you know the tracking down. Uh, tracking down Igwolf and turning, and so anyway, that's what that that's about. Then you've got a, a link, uh, basically a series of three modules that are loosely linked together. You've got the Star Cairns, you've got Crypt of Lysander the Mad, and you've got the Doom Grinder. Um, Pretty much, as far as modules goes, I hated all three of these. I mean, they I just didn't care for them. I mean, the Stark Herons, uh, the Stark Herons were, um, uh, it's good for an accessory book for locations. It gives you good information about the Star, that Stark Heron area uh, and just different stuff in general. But as far as uh, a, a, an adventure, yeah, not too impressed. Um, Crypt of Lysander the Mad uh, is a really weird module. Uh, basically, it's just a, a book of puzzles and um, things to figure out. Uh, it has some. It has some. Um, it, it's basically it's it's a it's a demi plane ruled by a not a necessarily evil lich uh, who collects artifacts and hides them from the rest of the world. Uh, in his demi plane, it's, it, he's got this humongous maze, and in order to get through the maze and survive, you've got to uh, get through all these riddles and traps and, and puzzles. And if you know if you decline on doing any of that, then you have to face his minions and so forth and so on. So, I mean, it, it, you know, it, it, it's okay if you like those kinds of things. Um, but it's supposed to be again loosely tied into Stark Herons and the Doom Grinder. As far as the Doom Grinder goes, to me this is I hate it. I mean, of, of all the, of the three of these, I just hated this module. Uh, basically, you've got um, there's there's this uh, on on this hill there is a uh, windmill made of stone. And supposedly it's a clock that ticks down the end of the world. Um, uh, but what supposedly, according to this module, what, what it really is, it's the top portion of this gigantic um, stone machine that uh, has been buried. And, and the, the top portion tower of it's the only thing left above ground. And it's run by a bunch of Darrow and they bust out of the ground and, and start rampaging uh, through the city of Greyhawk, destroying parts of the countryside and the city itself, and, and you've got to stop this monstrosity. And it's just, it's just over the top. I, was, I just 
I don't like this kind of, of module. Um, it, it again, it's it's cool for an accessory book to, to give you different you know ideas and, and and there's some little mini areas you know that that you can incorporate into your adventure that you know without actually having to use this thing. Um, in my campaign, I I used it as completely something totally different. Uh, I didn't like the the rampaging through this through the countryside destroying crap. You know, just eh, not my kind of thing. Um, so anyway, that's three. That's the three there. Um, and then you've got uh, oh, and all everything from the adventure begins. Well, basically everything everything in my hand right here. Uh, that I just talked about, um, starting with the adventure begins. Uh, all was made in 1998. Um, this was made in 2000. Um, this is Slavers. This is uh, supposedly t this takes place after um, several several years later, uh, after the original Slavers trilogy of modules. Um, it picks up where that left off. Um, introduces more slaver characters. This is basically it's a redo of that, but uh, in a late, you know, later on down the line, and um, it doesn't it doesn't redo the actual three originals. Um, like I said, this this is this is set afterwards, and it takes place, but it it, it, it ties it together. Uh, it's it's a pretty decent module. Um, it, it introduces a couple of the older slavers and then uh, introduces you to some new ones and takes you through you know, basically the same general area as the original did um, but with a different twist and that sort of thing um, so I mean it's, it's it's a pretty decent module like I said um, but um, yeah that's pretty but that's pretty much about it so um, and, and like I said this this doesn't really start off in the city of Greyhawk, but um, it, it, it does have places that are around around the city. Uh, takes you to the Wild Coast, um, and so and this was this was part of the part of that uh, Adventure Begins line of, of uh, World of Greyhawk books, and so that's why I included it in this uh, overall city of Greyhawk discussion here today. But um, that about wraps it up for today's video, guys. Um, again, thanks for watching. Um, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and bell buttons uh, so that you can get notifications of when I post these. Um, make sure you leave comments in the comments section. I do love those, and I'll respond when possible. And uh, oh, and don't forget um, where you can support this channel. Unlike others who have Patreon accounts, I do not. You can purchase my novel, The Book of Prophecies. It's a fantasy fiction novel. Uh, it's available in hardback, paperback, and eback formats. The links to these can be found in the About section of this channel and also the About section of my Facebook page, James Richmond Author. So, if you want to support me, just purchase one of my books and it would be much appreciated. So, until next time, guys, and as always, see you soon.